So guys, firstly, what you're gonna do is go to this website called Algato.com, Algato, and go to the download section on the right side. Scroll down, and you're gonna find this camera hub here. It supports Facecam, Facecam Pro, and we're gonna use it through the Epoch Cam application on the iPhone. So just download it. I have already downloaded the installer file for camera hub and then install it on my PC. Just download and install it on your PC. Minimize it. And this is the shortcut for Elgato camera hub that's being installed on my PC. Let's launch it. And you'll get this screen on your PC. Meanwhile, what you're gonna do is just go to the app store on your iPhone and then search for Epoch Cam on the app store. And this is the application Epoch Cam webcam for Mac and PC. Just install it and then let's open it. Make sure that the iPhone and PC are connected on the same network. As you can see, the iPhone has been connected to the PC. Let's put the phone on landscape mode. Now we can control all the settings from this camera hub application on PC. We don't need the iPhone. So what you can do is, we can select the effect here. Go to AR lenses and then apply the effect. So the effect has been applied. Now we could use this directly on OMDB but we have this logo of Elgato so we're gonna remove this Elgato logo by using the OBS now you're gonna need the OBS software just install the OBS studio from the link given in description box and for the OBS to work on OmiDB we're gonna use this fixture files for OBS studio the link of this file will also be given in description just download it since it's in zip form I'm just gonna firstly extract it and we have got the extracted folder for the fixture files here let's open it Go inside and these are just the registry keys for registering the OBS camera to PC. So let's execute both of them. These are completely safe. Yes. If in case you think that they are not safe, let me show you. Go to edit. And you can see this is just the registry key. And it will not do any harm. So close it. Now close it. Now the next step is that go to the source box and then type in here device manager. Go to device manager and expand the cameras on the device manager and we're gonna disable the default camera that is integrated camera and the usb camera if any attached to your pc let's disable both of them now just minimize it now launch the browser and then we're gonna go to the omi tv site as you can see it has automatically loaded the Elgato camera but there's one logo here so we're gonna choose a different camera since we have already registered the OBS camera to PC with the name SD Webcam C252, we're gonna select this webcam here, SD Webcam C252. And it loads the OBS camera on OMI TV. Let's minimize it. Now what you're gonna do is just launch the OBS Studio. Come under the Sources option and click on Plus. And select the Video Capture Device. Add New. We're gonna select from this device list here, Elgato Virtual Camera. Okay, now it has loaded the Elgato Virtual Camera here. Just click on OK. Now what you're gonna do is just expand the video here. And then we're gonna hide this logo here so just expand the video just like this now the logo is hidden and it's perfect to be used for obs now what you're gonna do is just start the virtual cam from this start virtual cam option here click here and if you go to the omi tv site now and the video chat can be started from here and change the effect from here hi there Hello. So that's the way guys how you can use the cool face filters in Omi TV. If you like this video then just give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Okay bye.